Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember I said we were going to talk about getting your head right before you start your day? If there's any residue that you left behind mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, I suggest you let it go and be able to start your day with a fresh start and clean that up first thing in the morning so you can have a good day. I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us and then carry on with one subject, sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, controlling everyone around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you do nothing but have excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, shopping, surgeries, pain. And being in a relationship with a man or a woman and mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally abusing one another. Or you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I'm going to talk about <clears throat> the importance of questioning everything you do, everything around you. Uh, <clears throat> the... Uh, Trust but verify, um, listen to those emotions, listen to your gut, listen to what it's telling you, and start taking charge of your life. Remember, this is about not blaming anymore. So if you're starting to feel uncomfortable with people that you used to be with, used to hang with, um, this is the hard part with our emotions and not taking things personally. And when you start to change, you're going to start to see people differently. And I want you to know that the hardest part of change is a lot of people aren't going to like being around you because you're not supporting the negativity and the negative stuff that you used to do, the self-destruct that you used to do. And they feel uncomfortable being around you because you become a mirror of them seeing what they're not doing for themselves. So they will find ways to beat you down, put you down, make you feel uncomfortable. And actually, in order for you to grow, you may have to remove yourself. And for me, in my recovery, that was the hardest part. Um, and I literally had to walk away from my biological family. I had to walk away from friends. Um, I had to walk away from everybody, again, to get me back. And then as I started to get better, I started to create a new family in my life. And I found that in program. I found that with people that I worked with. I find I'm very uh, uh, attached. I love my clients. I love what I do. I love my business. I do counseling. Um, my life and my day is so filled up with nothing but wonderful, fabulous things. My home is my hobby. I fill myself up with taking care of my home. And I, I don't do I don't do the internet. I don't do Facebook. I don't focus on what anybody else is doing. To me, that takes time. That's energy. And um, it clutters my mind. I have OCD, ADD. I need to keep myself focused. I need to keep regimen on what I need to do to have a good day. I don't have time for any of the drama. I'm actually allergic to drama. I'm allergic to negativity. And um, when I married my husband, I said to him, you change up, I'm out of here. He said, what you see is what you get. The consistency that I have with him is so beautiful. And there were periods in our relationships that I had a question and, and have a good fight about and come clear about where we stand. Don't ever not question. When you feel something's not right, nip it in the beginning. Do not wait. Um, and you can have a best friend. I had a woman come in and see me, and she uh, wanted to come in for counseling. She just broke up with her best friend. It was devastating, and women know this. Women with women, we're so attached to our women friends. Um, it's worse than, It could be worse than a, than a divorce because we need our women to do our silly talk, to do our uh, wackadoodle feelings and emotions that men um, get tired of and get exhausted of and men have their code, their forms, their way of loving and caring with their friends. It's not that it's bad, it's just that we're different. So again, 
you know, feel those feelings, feel that pain, but carry on. Do not let that destroy your day. Do not let that destroy your life because I rather have people out of my life that, that don't want good for me that are quietly um, wishing pain on me and quietly want to see me fail. I want to remove those people quickly. And I, I personally feel I'd rather live alone before um, I have those kinds of people in my life ever again. And there's a freedom in that. There's a saying, when you could take them or leave them, that's when you could have them. Whenever you like have people in your life like oh my god I'm gonna die if they're not in my life my life will be destroyed well that alone is sick because nobody is that great nobody's that powerful nobody's that wonderful nobody's that fabulous so we all got to question what we're doing questioning who we are where do we stand in our relationships and carry on and do the right thing for you so in the end again this is about you taking charge of your life and no more blaming not making your friends not making your pro uh, partners wrong you are the problem because you are the only one that can address it you are the only one that can change it nobody's going to do that for you they will live in the sickness for the rest of their life if you don't make a stand and vice versa so it's up to us to choose that extraordinary life remember the ordinary life is just a spineless stand for nothing let anybody do whatever they want to you and you accept it because your self-esteem is in the gutter and on the ground and, and and the extraordinary life is you do stand for something you do make better choices and you do have high expectations for a great life and you will receive it as long as you stay true to yourself okay balance not too much of anything our kids our partner our play our work when we stay balanced it's life in harmony when we abuse ourselves everyone we love is infected by it you cheat yourself and everyone around you the level of love and respect that you give yourself that is the level of love and respect you get in return the goal for all of us is life in harmony our thinking can make or break us that is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as go into the bathroom or else you get backed up. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. We need the breakdowns to have the breakthroughs, and they're powerful. And as you get stronger and better, you actually welcome them. You don't look at them as bad. You look at them as healthy. You realize you have to keep breaking through that wall to get to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. People say, I want to help be part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. We all, that is the true meaning of taking care of the world, doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. You smooth talkers, your words mean nothing, your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Michael Singer on spirituality. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The prerequisite to true freedom is to decide that you do not want to suffer anymore. You must decide that you want to enjoy your life and that there's no reason for stress, inner pain, or fear. It is a decision from your head to your heart. It is your thinking and your psychological barriers that are stopping you from breaking through that wall. Every time you do it, again, it gets easier and easier and easier. Now I'm going to read a part of my book. Okay. Okay. Page 34. I'm sitting with a bunch of flowers. Um, absolutely beautiful scene. And it says here, I've always had this mirror in, uh, in my home. 
It isn't hard to find the truth. What is difficult is holding on to it, sustaining it. To maintain that truth, we do self-inquiry. We meditate, we chant, and we constantly remember where we came from. I discovered this saying, saying many years ago, and I was so taken back by it to keep it on my mirror where I meditate. I read it on a daily basis as a part of my ritual before I start my day. I, I, um, that saying actually saved my life. Um, I remember when um, I made a decision to lock myself up into rehab on my own free will because I needed to get quiet. And I got into a fight with my ex-husband in prison and I almost was going to walk out and thank God I had a friend that I would tell him what I wanted to do and be true to myself. He was a minister, he had six kids and he used to hold my hand and say, okay, Marianne, this is what you said, this is what you wanted, and you told me to help you and support you and get through it. We all need some one strong person to help us to stay true to ourselves, to not back down, to not um, believe we're not worthy, and he helped walk me in that door. He was my lifesaver, and he came, and he supported me, and he loved me, at one of the hardest times of my life because halfway through I wanted to run away it was very hard it was trying it was scary it was arduous it was everything you can imagine but once I left I left as a new person I could never go back and I discovered humility and without humility we never can change and I can never go back to my old ways and it talks about never forget where you came from I will never forget where I came from but I no longer have to live that life. And that is, that is my reminder of how far I've come. And being true to ourselves, it isn't always easy. It is scary. That's why it's important to have a very powerful support system on your team to help you to keep fighting, to keep going, and to have wonderful people in your court. And it makes a huge difference. And you are worth it. Okay, I'm now going to read uh, the checkoff list remember I said you can do one thing at a time and eventually uh, do it for 30 days and by one year you have changed 12 things about yourself so far I'm doing phenomenal on my program and um, I'm loving the accountability Work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss my loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. I will take charge of my life today and realize I am in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. It's always about fear. Don't ever take what other people do to you personally. It's something they're fearing in their own life, and they can't break through that wall. It has nothing to do with you. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will say thank you for everything that happens to me, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner if I become it. I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. I will do two things a day I don't want to do to have a successful day. Trust the process. Those two things are for me. Getting up early. I already did that. And doing my workout. And the rest will follow. Okay, we can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head 
to our heart. It's the greatest gift that we can give ourselves. If you want to reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com, leave your number, and I could call you if you want to do workshops or order books. I'll sign them for you. They're great gifts. If you want to learn about my services, leave your phone number or an email, lifeinharmonyonline.com. Remember, I'm doing my podcast five days a week. Please share it with everybody you love and respect. Send them the link and then tell them to hit subscribe and start with podcast number one. Number two, there's order to this podcast so they can slowly digest it and understand it and be true to themselves. And remember, that's the greatest gift you can give yourself. And the more people that we help win, the more we win. And remember, I want you to have an unannounced day today. And thank you for listening.